Magic 98.9 and magic989fm.com, the best variety of yesterday and today. It is nine minutes after eight o'clock now, 8.09, and uh, in just a couple of weeks, we're going to be sleeping out or sleeping in <laughs> at the Covenant House, and this is going to be a very special night. Uh, we're going to be down there with uh, a lot of other folks uh, from the community and uh, just raising awareness and, and hopefully uh, raising some money for a great, great cause. Covenant House, Alaska, the candlelight vigil again, November 13th. It's a Tuesday evening, 6 o'clock. And then following that is the sleep out. And we'll be doing that at the Crisis Center for Covenant House. And we've got um, Eilina here today. Good morning. Good morning. So, Eilina, you use the services at Covenant House, Alaska. And just tell us briefly a little bit about your story and, and uh, what kind of support Covenant House, Alaska provided you. Sure. Um, so as a, as a youth, I, um, a younger youth when I was about 16, I, I was having a lot of family problems and, um, um, and family problems is all encompassing. I don't want to get too much into that, but, um, I didn't have anywhere to go. Um, I had just been kicked out of the last place that I was at and, uh, I had heard about, I, I'd seen a sticker, um, a blue sticker for the Coven House nine line and I wasn't really sure what it was exactly, but I, um, I decided to take a leap of faith and call and, um, I was connected with Covenant House here in Anchorage, and uh, about a half hour later, I was in a cab. I was at the Covenant House. Um, it was really scary, but it's been about five years since I first went to Covenant House, and I would not be where I am today if it wasn't for Covenant House. And they gave you a, a place to stay, obviously, and then and what other sorts of things did they kind of help you with while you were at Covenant House? Well, I've uh, I've never been in a in a real stable home. Um, since I was a young kid. So there's a lot of things that you learn in your family, um, you know, just basic things like how to budget, how to buy food, you know, shop, just different things that people take for granted every day that you learn from your family. And um, I never had that chance to learn from my family and, uh, you know, just how to be emotional, how to empathize, how to do all these different things. And um, that's probably one of the biggest things that Coven House has done for me, aside from, you know, give me the basics like a food, a place to stay and people to talk to. They just helped me to grow and to be independent and how to live my life. How, how tough was it to get in that cab and go down to Covenant House and then walk through the doors and, and just kind of describe that process for us? Um, it's, it's really scary. You, you know, you're walking into a place that you don't really, you don't know what it is or what they do. I mean, you, you can hear about it all day long, but you don't really, you don't really know. You know, you're, you're walking into this this building and you're talking to people and telling them that you have nowhere to go and, and you have no idea who they are, you know, especially for somebody that, um, for me, it's always been what, what happens in our family stays in our family. You know, you don't tell other people these things and to just walk into that building and, um, not really know who these people are. It's, it's really hard. Um, but walking in there and within the first, you know, 20 minutes, I did my intake and the staff was really nice. They were really welcoming. They, uh, they did their they did their best to, to make me comfortable to be there. Um, it's always really really weird and really kind of scary the first couple of days because it is something you're getting used to, especially if you've never been in that position before. Um, but otherwise, it after a while you get used to it, I guess. Yeah. Where, where do you think you would be now if you did not find Covenant House? Oh man, I don't even want to think about that. Um, you know, I, I wasn't always on the right path. And, um, you know, I, I got into a little bit of drugs and, you know, alcohol and stuff like that. And, and if I would have continued down that path and not found my way with Covenant House, you know, I wouldn't be standing here today. I wouldn't have two jobs. I wouldn't be on a board. You know, I wouldn't be on two boards. I, I just, I wouldn't have the ability to, to help people and be of service to people like I am today. And um, I, I don't know. I, you know, like I said, I don't really want to know where I would be. And, 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 Unfortunately, you don't have to know. Yeah, that's and, and, the good news. And yeah. with the help of Covenant House, what are you doing now? Well, um, I, like I said, I have two jobs, mm -hmm. um, and they're the two jobs that I've had the longest in my life. You know, I used to go from one job to the next just because I didn't like it. Um, and I am also on the board of directors of the Mental Health or the Alaska Mental Health Board, um, and I work for a teen center where. 
I get to help my peers. You know, I get to I get to be there for, for the people that were in my position when I was 16. And I get to help them and, and guide them through and, you know, just kind of be be somebody to talk to and be that oh, light in their life. I mean, that, that is that fantastic. Is, yeah, yeah, I bet they really, really connect with you, too. Having been there, having experienced it, you're th- sort of the best person to kind of help them with their situations as well. Um, it's really a powerful story, and we thank you so much for sharing it. It just shows that Covenant House Alaska made such a huge difference in your life, and it does for thousands of Alaska youth. And uh, if there's something you could tell people to sort of get them to donate or to help out, what would that message be? I mean, we talk about it all the time, and we love it. We want Covenant House to be successful and so they can continue helping youth. But what's the one thing kind of that you would maybe say, share with people to get them to donate? There's a... I know people always, not not always, I don't want to say always, I know sometimes people tend to think when they see, you know, a, a youth that looks a little bit raggedy walking down the street, you know, they might have some other thoughts that are not always polite going through the head, and and people aren't always going to help them directly, and Covenant House provides the services that other people aren't capable of doing, or sometimes don't want to do, and I mean, they are there for us all the way. They're there for emotional support, they're there for a place to stay, a place to eat, they help us find jobs. I mean, there are so many youth just like me and even worse positions than I was in that Covenant Health helps them. They they help them find their, you know, get their life together and be independent. And if they weren't there, there are so many youth out there that, that would not, I mean, they'd be in, in family positions where, you know, bad things would happen. They wouldn't be able to go anywhere in life. So I just, I hope people understand how important Covenant House is in the community and, and especially to us as youth that, that get services from them. Yeah, very nice. Um, thank you so much for coming in. We really appreciate it. I imagine you've probably met uh, some real close friends uh, down there at Covenant House as well. Yes, yeah. definitely. A lot of most of the people actually that I know are yeah. through Covenant House, especially yeah. the staff. So, yeah, well, Eileen, thank you so much for coming in. We definitely appreciate it, and uh, uh, hopefully, we'll see you down at Covenant House here in just uh, a couple of weeks. Yeah, we have the candlelight yeah. vigil. Yeah. Again, November 13th. <laughs> we hope that, you, I know, I'm getting all teared up, so it's hard to talk, but yeah. we hope you can uh, join us for that and also make a donation. Yeah. You can do that very easily on our website, magic989fm.com. Uh, we invite you to do that. We thank you all already uh, for those of you that, that did log on and show your support. Uh, we're going to try and raise $5,000 before we yeah. uh, do our sleep out in a couple of weeks. So again, you can log on to our website, magic989fm.com and help us help the kids and help Covenant House. Thank right. you so much for coming in. We Thank you, Ilena. We appreciate you sharing your story. Thank you so much.